Hello, this is Paolo, and in this video, we are going to see how we can use the generic presets of Reality 4, what they do, when it's the time to use them, and how they behave. How are they different from the other automatic presets, the specific presets, as they are called? Well, in this video, I'm going to use Poser a little bit. Studio users should watch it as well, because most of what we do is related to reality and so it will be working both for poser and studio users as well so um, before we look at the generic presets we should look at what would happen without them so let me start with this i have victoria 4 in the scene and uh, if we look at the default skin of Victoria, we see that it's using the usual purple bikini texture. And um, if we look inside reality, we see a couple of things. The first one is that most of the materials have a preset called the V4 basic skin, which is exactly it. It's the preset for the basic skin because normally Victoria comes in the scene with that texture until you apply a different one, a different skin. It's actually not a texture, it's a skin. So that is the name for this preset. But there are also materials that are marked with this asterisk. And the asterisk means I have a preset, but this is a generic preset. I don't have anything specific for this skin. This is a generic preset. So let's see how a generic preset works by peeling off each layer one at a time so what i'll do next is to go to the presets menu of reality okay and select the preset manager the preset manager is a window that allows us to manage all the presets that are installed on our machine now there are a bunch of presets that come with reality and more you can add on your own so I'm going to go to the V4 section by pressing the letter V on my keyboard and then scrolling to V4. And here I have my basic skin. Now this is a preset stored in the database. I don't have to delete it to uh, avoid using it. I can simply click on edit uncheck this box called enabled and then save in this way reality will not use this preset so we close that window and i'll switch to the host the host is either poser or studio so this operation will work exactly the same either that you work in poser or studio so in this case i'm going to go to studio and I'll create a new scene and then I'll add Victoria again. Now this time we will see that the basic skin preset is ignored because it has been disabled. And so what happens next depends on a series of conditions. So let's see what has happening in reality. So reality now is listing all the materials without the preset so this is what happens when uh, we load a model in the host generally that model comes with a series of materials configured in a certain way for each material we have different textures for the diffuse the specular the alpha channel bump map and so on reality looks in all those channels and it extracts the relevant information. Based on the model and the textures used in the diffuse and alpha channel, reality will try to find a match in the presets database. In this case, there is no match because the preset that we have has been disabled. If no specific preset is found, then reality will try to find a generic preset. A generic preset is a preset 
that is applied to the model in general, regardless of what textures are applied, just the model. And what is the model in this case? Well, it's Victoria. So Reality looks for this unique name, that is the geometry file, and will try to find a preset that is valid for the whole model, regardless of what skin has been applied. And in this case, it was found. Now, the generic preset has a very specific and limited role. It can change the material type, so instead of glossy, we have a skin, and it can change all these numbers here, all these values. It does not change, it does not change the texture. Textures are left untouched, and we'll, we'll see in a second why that is a necessary thing. And so let me show you exactly how that works. We go again in the preset manager and press V, and then in the V4 part, I look for the V4 generic. See, there is a column here that says generic, yes. Okay, so this is the V4 generic preset. We also see the object ID, which is this one here. Now, if I want to verify, I click on the Victoria object in reality and I see exactly the same geometry file. Okay, so back to the preset manager, v4, generic. So I'm going to disable this. So click on edit, disable it, click on save, close, and now back to the host, we create a new scene. and we add Victoria again. So at this point, the reality will receive the model from Poser, will look inside the uh, materials and try to find a match for the specific skin. If it doesn't find that skin, it will then try to find a generic preset. If it doesn't find a generic preset, then it will just convert the materials from the host and gathering all the information from the materials it will do the best conversion possible so let's go back to reality and here we see that victoria now doesn't have any skin material anymore because it has been treated just as a generic model and that is where the generic preset works by using generic preset where I can say, look, regardless of what skin you have, this material has to be skin. Regardless of what kind of textures have been loaded, this material has to be skin. Uh, but I don't want to save a specific texture when I save a generic preset because otherwise, Victoria will be always loaded with the basic skin. So that's why the generic presets don't save the textures. Because, let's see another example. If I go back to the preset manager, and now I enable the generic preset for V4. V4 generic, edit, enable it, save, close. All right, so now I have Victoria 4 here, and in my library, I'm going to find a skin preset for which I don't have any preset. So let's see, for example, now this one. Well, let's try this one here. Okay, so default material with hair, we apply this to Victoria 4. So at this point, the host gets a new series of materials for this figure. Reality gets notified, and then Reality will try to make a, a conversion based on what it finds. 
So now we see that based on the generic preset, all the materials have been converted to the right type. Skin has been skin, glossy, and if we look, for example, for the cornea, we have glass. But if I look in the skin face, this is the texture for the diffuse channel that is loaded from the host preset. This is not from the reality preset. This is confirming that the Aurea skin has been loaded. So the, the generic preset allows me to create some very gen general rules, some minimum defaults that I can apply to a material. So all the materials are converted to skin where necessary. The others are converted to glass where necessary, with including things like the architectural flag. And, but nothing else has been loaded because we don't have a specific preset for this type of skin. In this way, with a generic preset, we can have a very consistent experience. We can have a very consistent transformation of materials, even though we don't have a way of anticipating how many skins will be created for this model. And now when I'm saying skins, I mean it in the most generic way. The model, instead of being a figure, could be an architectural model, could be an environment, could be a prop. So this is how the generic presets work. In another video, I'll show you how we can create a generic preset from scratch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.